If we look at the particulars, Chase is a little bigger. Well, a lot heavier. Same reach, same height, similar age, similar experience. The weight is a difference. Alex Nicholson thinks that's to his advantage speed-wise and acceleration-wise. We shall see. This ain't about numbers. Let's get these two guys introduced, my friend. Ladies and gentlemen, everybody please take your seats as we get ready for the co-main event of the evening. This one is being brought to you by the official betting partner of Game Red Bare Knuckle, Stink. This one is set for three five-minute rounds in the heavyweight division. And when the action starts inside the cage, our referee, Mr. Larry. Fulsome. And now, Orlando, let's meet our fighters. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, standing six feet four and weighing in 264.8 pounds. He comes to the cage for the record of 17 wins and 12 defeats. Representing Kill Cliff FC, and fighting tonight out of the Iberville, Mississippi. Please welcome Chase the Vanilla Gorilla, Sherman. And now his opponent fighting out of the red corner, standing six feet four and weighing in 223.8 pounds. Tonight, he cut to the cage for the record of 15 wins and 10 defeats. Representing Team Danger and Fusion XL, fighting out of Orlando, Florida, Alex Spartan Nicholson. Oh, yeah. Heavyweight oh, co-main event. You can feel it in the air, can't you, Robin? You can just feel yeah. the tension with this. Big boys are in the cage. Yeah, the hair on the back of your neck is standing up, and we're right into it. Nicholson is a fast starter. These gentlemen know each other very well. Like I said, they fought before. They've trained before with each other. There's a lot of respect. Nicholson tries to tangle the hands and get a couple off. He gets a few and a kickoff. We're 20 Ooh. seconds in. Chase striking, backing up. It's a good idea. You really see the size difference when you see them side by side right now. Chase wants to get those kicks off, but I don't like the that for first Chase. minute, man. Yes, that's it. I like that for Chase. I'll tell you what, I've trained with Chase. This kid's hips are unreal. For a 265-pound man. That's the football in him. His hips are yes. unreal. Very Matt Mitrione like. Mm. So you're you're not even a minute into it. Chase absorbed a few shots, kicked to the body, but he is on top. And Alex Nicholson is not initiating any sort of stand-up procedures here. He's trying to tie up and see if we can get these favorable refs to, to stand this up. I think Chase has Getting a passed. small cut over his left eye right now. Probably Getting in the transition. Passed. Alex that arm's Nicholson, there, but the, yeah. the cage is going to prevent that. Alex Nicholson now getting the four points. He'll get up here. Alex wants to get the right foot under him. See Chase digging the foot out. He's got left foot, two hands, and a right knee, but he wants the right foot on the ground to explode up. And th this is where the weight of Chase yeah. Sherman's going to be a huge advantage. A Alex, the smallest fighter, carrying all that weight can really fatigue again. Yeah, he's carrying, literally got a gorilla on his back. But if you're Alex, you've got to explode you out of explode there. you got to explode out you got to hand yeah. fight and explode. Otherwise, you're carrying it anyways. Correct. And time now, it's a minute of carry, right? But Alex is going to circle this out of here. Takes a knee oh. and punches behind the ear. Two minutes down. Nicholson will come on now. 
Chase is going to say, Chase, he's tired already, but... I don't know if I agree with yeah, that. Alex says, no, I'm not. I'm going to punch your lights out. I, I'm like, ooh, big shot by Alex. I'd like another takedown for Chase here. Yeah, yeah, and, and you Alex may see is looking it. looking for blood. You may see it. Yes. I was trying to get him this exchange and this brawl. Chase needs to be smart shoot here. Alex, using the left hand, he's going to set up the right real soon. You see the cut over. Oof. Chase needs to shoot here. Yeah. He get... Alex is right now. Yeah, he is, man. Some big shots there. Chase walks through it and fires a few of his own, goes back to a tie up. Alex strikes backing up well as well. Three minutes down. Yeah, Alex clearly has a speed advantage here, but that's where Chase, I, I like to engage him with grappling here, trying to wear him out, take the speed advantage out of the way. Yeah. Yeah. They were saying Alex is tired, but Chase is fatigued too, maybe literally from intensity. When your brain is so active, you're burning sugars and you get tired from thinking, literally. You're burning mouthpiece energy, out, yes. mouthpiece out. That move. And the ref's like, okay, go ahead, pick it up. Alex is gonna throw the right, and he does an uppercut. So when Chase's head dipped, Alex threw the uppercut. Just missed it. Oof, straight left. Boy, if you're gonna throw a kick at a heavyweight, you better be out of the way. You better get your head off the center line. He's throwing a kick and he's staying there. He's eating a few. He's eating punches, yes. As a heavyweight, you throw a kick, you gotta get out. Oh, oh! oh he's out. Chase Sherman! Chase Sherman, Chase Sherman baby! Left hand. Big knockout by Chase Sherman. Good oh. night. Chase absorbed a lot of damage. Chase is chin, in bro. there long enough to get off a right to set up a left hook. And Alex Nicholson is down, and he's still That's a bad down. bad knockout. Chase decided to engage in that shootout and came out on top. Chase has been known for a granite chin. He can always rely on his chin. He did that here. Alex, Alex knocked out bad. Starting to come back. Let's take a look at it. There's a left hook. That's the end of it. These, he didn't need to take. The ref There's a right big left hook. The right Chase hand loads the left hip. You talked about his hip. Right hand. Boom! And Alex was firing left of his own. Those two, those three punches after. Uh, it's Chase's job to go to the ref. Takes him off. Oh, that's not on Chase. That's on yeah, the ref. You got to get in there and protect the fighter. Yeah. Chase Sherman lays out Alex Nicholson. As tough as they come. Yeah, the kid is tough as nails. And he absorbed a lot of punches to stay in there long enough to do it. It's tough for Alex, who's a knockout artist, and he wants to get in that exchange. But yeah. you exchange him with a bigger fighter. So if you Alex land out. one, Chase lands one, it's usually not going to work out for you. That's right. You're 225. Also, for whether it was a strategy, an intentional strategy or not, Alex wasn't throwing the haymakers he normally does. He was throwing lots more punches with less ferocity. A heavyweight, that doesn't work. Yeah. Whether um, whether it's inside the octagon, you know, MMA, or if it's a bit, especially a bare knuckle, that's not a great game plan at the heavyweight division. Chase Sherman knocks out Alex Nicholson in round one. Now they are one apiece. And I suspect we will see the rubber match one day between these two great fighters. Right it's a hand, bad, bad okay, left hook. It's a stepping right hand, and Alex was extending during it. If you see it one more time, or when we see it again, a little bit you know, later, whether it's before the announcement or after the announcement, you'll see Alex is firing his left hand when Chase lands the left hook. Ooh. Violence, brother. Uh, yeah. Heavyweight violence. Yes, this game bred bare knuckle MMA, baby. That's to be tough for Alex at home, losing in yeah. front of all his friends and family. It's, it's tough. And fighting the kind of fight he loves, you know? He's Just, fighting an undersized guy, and he's, he's, playing, yeah. he's playing that exchange in the phone booth. The bigger guy's usually going to win that exchange. He learned it the hard way tonight. Yeah. When Chase threw the right hand, it loaded those oh. big, big left hips. That, that's going to put anybody out. I don't yeah. care who you are. Chase yeah. lands that shot with your 230, 265. You're in trouble. Yep. I'm glad to see Alex Nicholson up. He's a great man, and we thank him for his courage and his heart. Oh, but yeah. tonight, uh, this is Chase Sherman's night. Christopher James. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, our referee, Larry Folsom, steps in and called a halt to the bout at 357 of round number one. Declare your winner by knockout.
Chase, the Vanilla Gorilla, Sherman. <laughs> We're here with your winner, guys, in the co-main event. You're in hostile environment, Chase. Ten years. I'm in a hostile environment. I can't even hear you, Orlando. Where you at? Hey, come on, come on. <laughs> you knew what everything what Alex was bringing. How you feel getting a first round vicious knockout? Oh uh, man, you know what? I didn't feel. I don't feel like great about the win. You know what I'm saying? Like anybody that's a heavyweight can get caught. You know what I mean? And he was coming out there and he was putting a jab on me. And uh, usually that's my game, you know what I mean? And uh, he, his range, man, was, was hard to get by. And I ain't got really much else to say. I just want to give the microphone to my boy Alex here to let him talk. And I want y'all to know that y'all got a savage motherfucker right here that fight anybody that steps in his cage. He's 220 pounds. He should be fighting at middleweight. He's fighting fucking heavyweights. He never turned down a fight. He never turned down a fight. So I'm gonna give it to him. Let him talk to his people. Much respect, Chase. Much respect. Uh, hey, you guys give it up for Chase, the Vanilla Gorilla Sherman. Not many men walking and talking around on this sphere, floating around in the universe, could do that to me. And he caught me with a good one. God bless him, man. I wish him nothing but the best. Stand up, gentlemen, in the savage sport. Good job, Chase. But don't you guys fucking worry. I will be back. I will be back, man. But God bless Chase, man. Y'all give it up for this man. Orlando, everybody, thanks for coming out. Y'all want to boom, but y'all wouldn't have stood in here. I get it. It's my town, but it's his time. So give it up to him for that, everybody. Let's do it one time. God bless you, Chase. Much respect, both men. Chase Sherman, Alex the Spartan Nicholson. Class by Alex Nicholson. And uh, Alex was getting the better of him for a couple good minutes. Chase got a few takedowns, did the work against the feds, but it was Alex lighting him up. But right here, he's gonna be one thing, and he puts him down. Uh, wonderful performance by Chase. A big win for him. They're one apiece, and a classy, classy Alex Nicholson. We love you both. It is time.